Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome to what is technically episode one of the Internet Sensation Podcast with my two friends. <laughs> yes. Um, welcome. Uh, introduce yourself, guys. Uh, I'm Arthur, uh, known as Arthur TV by someone. Uh, Mr. Television. Yeah, I'm Cub Kirkham, known as Cub Kirkham. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, welcome. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> yeah, mate, podcast, Give man. us another question. Make um, it harder this time. I'm going to address <laughs> the elephant in the room here. Um, and I'm not talking about uh, Arthur TV's mother. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about me uh, and the fact that this podcast is now on YouTube. Now, I, I feel like a lot of people... Um, you may have seen episodes on Spotify. You may have seen the clips that have been posted on this channel uh, before. But um, the contract ended with uh, with Spotify. It's still available on there if you want to go listen to it. Uh, but now uh, you'll have the four episodes on YouTube every single week. Um, we haven't really picked a day yet. I'm not really that confident in picking one at this moment that in time. That boards well for the future. Yeah, I will get there. The plan is to do an episode every week. Some of them will be in the studio. Some of them will be done. Over Discord, I reckon, depending on how lazy and <laughs> it, 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 easy it is to get a hold of everybody. But um, that's the basic rundown, and I'll talk about it in more detail at the end. But um, yeah, it's been a it's been a wild uh, week uh, for all of us. We've all been recording videos together, which is cool. We have. We're, we're doing like this. It's like this group, but not group kind of dynamic, isn't it? Yeah. If you've got any mm. names, guys, uh, suggest them, and we'll kill off the group channel in six months' time. Yeah. I reckon. <laughs> the F boys. That would actually, and then it can be because like, it's just oh, like the, the worst yeah. version. Yeah. Now, I think maybe we should steer away from that. I, I've been trying to like, because you mentioned it in a call. Like, uh, you a called us name. something like the Motley Crew on Twitter. I was, I, I just, I, I normally say that about any of the videos, uh, but I was, I didn't, I wasn't trying to coin something. I, swear. I thought you were trying to coin it. So I was like, there was no council decision on this. No, <laughs> but like, that's that. But what will happen is somebody will name us, I reckon, and then we will have no choice. Yeah. Lose us. As of the, it, I think it's good to just have like a, a way of referring to the general group without it necessarily having to be that it, official. It's like hard, isn't it? Because like, uh, the side men, it makes a lot of sense. I think it's like a good name because it's not necessarily associated. It's not like with the crew or the lads. Mm. It's like, but I think they smashed it with their name. Yeah. yeah. Um, but to come up with it, like, let's try and come up with some of the spot. Mate, it's, it's spot. so hard. So, you know, when I did Locked In with that with them, lot, like, obviously, we're all like v very different people, very different backgrounds, all that kind of stuff. Well, obviously, you're road. Good mates. I'm yeah. what? You're, you're quite road, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, a lot you? of them were too middle class and tall. That's one of the greatest <laughs> thumbnails. By the way, that might be the best thumbnail ever on YouTube of you and the do rag. Oh, my goodness. The number of times oh I got sent that. Oh, my God. I put that in the group chat, didn't I? Yeah, you did. But, so but um, good. yeah, mate, it took, we spent so long thinking of names, and it actually is like almost impossible. And Every time you think of something, it's already taken. Yeah. We went with Lost Lot in the end, which was kind of okay. That's not that's that good. I actually think that's pretty good. And we got at Lost Lot on a bunch of like their hand, handles and tags. Wait, so you started a group channel with the people when... Yeah, but we just never filmed. Everyone just... We came out of Locked In and everyone was just too busy. <laughs> Mate, that's I, the most I probably, like... That, you, must, you, you must know <laughs> Mate, exactly how that feels. that's the most YouTube thing ever. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. We all started a group channel, didn't even get one video done. <laughs> yeah, literally. Mate, I paid like graphic designer, got like a... A profile picture made, cover photo, spent ages on the branding, got all the accounts and stuff. We just oh, had all the do rags as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah everywhere, all the different multicolored ones. <laughs> Joke man actually bought me a, a colorful array of do rags. I had a yellow, a blue, a pink, and a white. Oh one. my god! <laughs> There's no, you're, you're like the power. You're wear it on the next internet sensation, <laughs> mate. Bring them. We'll um, do a whole episode with do rags on. Do you know the first thing when we recorded? I think it was the first group video we did for you, which was the Love Island one. I came into the call. I think I was wearing this hat. The first thing that Arthur says is, "That's a durag." Oh, yeah. I was like, "Well, it's not." Well, when oh, he's out, when he's out on the road, it was this beanie. Oh, and then I was like, "Because your headset was on, it looked like uh, a durag." I was like, "You've spent too much time with us." So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the beanie that I like. I photoshopped like seven different colors and people swam there. Yeah, and everyone I hated as well. I was yeah, like, bright, I'm just ruining your style. <laughs> bright, like bright yellow, <laughs> bright yellow beanie. But yeah, I feel like coming up with a group name is like mm. a genuinely. A nightmare. I mean, we had a lot of problems with it. Uh, well documented. Some yeah. people claimed that they came up with it. I can't remember if they did or didn't. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a, a fucking nightmare. Because that's the other thing. Like, mate, if you could, if we could find the Google Doc for like all the su like suggested e boys names, Can fuck we just me, make that? mate. Some of them. Yeah. Are... Do you own? Uh, it will be the e boys it trademark. Will... Or mate, it will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You own the trademark. We can't take. We have a company still. Who's got the e boys? Still makes money. Oh, of course, mate. The, the amount of gets that mate, money, mate. The uh, well, Who's we have, we it? still have people. There are people still employed under the company. So, 
We had our PA who worked on this, Orla. Orla, who now I think has like, moved on. Uh, Orla. Um, Orla's, Orla's definitely living in a villa somewhere, just <laughs> getting all the money <laughs> yeah. in. With all the e-voice money. Yeah, green screen money. <laughs> or like, genuinely, you'd be amazed. Like, um, I, don't, I wonder if the boys would care. Uh, probably not. But like, the, the channel still... Won't. I don't think they would. If they cared, they would still be doing it. <laughs> 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 so I don't think they would care. I think... Um, like the amount of money that channel still makes, even though it's been two years, is like actually fucking wild. How like, much exactly? <laughs> I'm not going to give an exact number, but like it's like enough to like support somebody, no like way. genuinely, just off residuals, that which is, is mental. Because oh, half the videos are demonetized. That like, is half the thing. Like we, you know, as much as you might want to take it, like there's a very strong identity that is the E boys. That if you know you decided to Which take what, it on with a new group, wait, right, well, that's the thing. I remember when we. I when, don't know if it'll go down. Too I was well. like, at least the name's good, but that's the problem. I, I wouldn't be able to think of something like even now, like with this podcast. Like, I, I if it wasn't for the fact that I spent all the money on this sign, probably would rebrand it. But yeah. we're going to stick through with the the Internet Sensation podcast. Do you like, think? Can, can, go on. No, you go. Can you imagine like Harry Styles just starts a new boy band with a bunch of different groups but calls it One Direction again? I Everyone think would that would be, like, I think he'd get sued. Everyone would be like, mm, that was a bit weird. <laughs> I don't think he'd be able to get away with it. Although he was Grammy, Grammy uh, album of the year? Yeah, I saw oh. that. Did any of you watch the Grammys? No. no. I just can't be bothered. No. I like, don't think it matters, does it? You see the important bits on, you know, if, if something interesting happens, if someone gets slapped, it comes up on your timeline. <laughs> yeah, or like <laughs> something, yeah, true, actually. <laughs> no slapping this year. No. I always see a lot of people just like, I saw like a viral tweet about Harry Styles about like um, people like say he's just like is being forced to wear dresses and like that he's not a, and he's not a gay man. It was very strange. Well, is this like a conspiracy? Yeah, people get really out, like people think that he's like faking it. I guess, but I don't think has he ever said he, he said something weird recently, like uh, on on stage. I think it might have been at the Grammys, oh, didn't he? <laughs> where he was like, "This doesn't usually happen to people like me." And like, I was like, "Famous white, yeah. good looking man, <laughs> good looking white yeah. boy, well, like, really hard done by." <laughs> yeah, I think to, I think his point was, I I think I, I don't know much about Harry. He used Styles. to work at a bakery, I think. Um, yeah, and I think he grew up in Manchester. Yeah, in a. In the, slum, in the slums of Manchester. Where he considers himself like to be underprivileged. So I think he, he was lucky. That. Yeah, he got plucked out of like, you know, people don't forget like, he, it's not like he had like a famous dad or or like he, or maybe he does, I don't know. He might do. Um, but he was like picked randomly off, a, off X Factor. Mm. Well, to be fair, like not many people from Manchester get to go to the Grammy. So it kind of it's kind is of right. correct. It is yeah, it's right. Kind of, it's kind of valid. So it, yeah. exactly where's, uh, but I think the, the, the backlash was up. Uh, like I think, I think it was like, it's easy to misconstrue yeah. it as him talking about like, normally you hear that from people who have been discriminated against being like, we don't normally get picked. Yeah. Um, but I think he meant that, yeah, you don't normally see a guy who used to work at a bakery winning a Grammy. How many yeah. people, Maybe you do. Mm. How many people that are from Manchester that used to work in a bakery that wear dresses yes. get yeah. to go to the Grammys? So I, mean, I think theoretically it kind of is correct. I think people get annoyed at him because he won't openly talk about his sexuality in the way that they want. But mm. I feel like if you were Harry Styles and you've been famous since the age he was, you would probably want to keep as much stuff as you can private as possible. Mm. I'm surprised with all the experience he had. Like, e even if deep down that's the way he feels, I feel like that's something you should let people say on your behalf. Like if someone comes out and tweets like, oh, good on him, he started here and he ended up here. That's fine. But like, I just feel like, yes. you know, like rich, yeah. if you're a straight, <laughs> very no, rich, straight. famous. If you're a rich, famous, if you're, a, if white you're guy, an ambiguous white guy, you know, <laughs> whatever he's, he ticks a lot of the like main boxes, just like outwardly saying, like, I've had a struggle to get here, even if you have to some extent. I feel like, but then also, yeah, if you exactly. wanted media right. training, I would just never do it. Yeah. You just want to, all right, you just want to Grammy Arthur. Yeah, what for? Said, uh, a song. Normally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, I don't know what category, but fine. Uh, okay, greatest uh, greatest hip hop album, <laughs> greatest hip hop album of the oh. year. The do rag. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you go up stage and you do rag. Yeah. Here you go. You, this is your speech. I I don't. Well, I mean, you put me on the spot here. <laughs> I, this I doesn't only happen to people. I, like I, I would just be like, shout out my mum, shout out my dad. Thanks everyone who support me. Love you all. So they don't no, just, normally get to birth someone like me. Because no thing. one gives a shit. When people start rallying off names, like, fair enough, it means a lot to them. But, like, mm. I just, I, I think maybe being on social media a lot makes me, like, highly Do you also 
Like, you think people are just fed up with award shows in general because it's just like I mean, loads of are, really rich people in the yes, room going, they're, they're, yeah. going, best, best this. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when the Ellen thing started the downfall of like people just started hating celebrities. Well, the selfie. And I, yeah, no, it was the, when people realized that she was actually like an evil person at heart. Yeah. And had been like, <laughs> you know, abusing her workers and That's right, like, Ellen. manipulating people on TV and stuff. I didn't follow it well enough, but it was like a big thing. And there was definitely an era during lockdown where people were like, can we stop this? Like, putting celebrities on a pedestal and like, you know, you can appreciate someone's work, but like That's stop this kind of like Ricky over... Gervais's Golden Globe speech was so good. So good. But sure like that reminded me, you know, the Hunger Games with the capital. <laughs> it's it's genuinely like yeah, that, like where, that. Where people are wearing really big gowns, everyone's clapping everyone who's it's on It's weird, stage. isn't it? It's really weird while everyone else is watching it on a big screen or something at home. Yeah. It was gen- it Kylie that came that walked down with her big lion's yeah. head on her thing and that was a real isn't yeah, there like a po- there's a podcast awards isn't there i mean i've never been invited because i've never been nominated is, this you dropping in? <laughs> for a category. is there a podcast award there is a podcast uh, i thought you would have been the no, friends no. of ours have gone have they yeah they've been they i think they were nominated where's though. the like the, the voting for that i've never seen that anywhere what would you wear though would you go as like a, in a suit would you join in suit tie um, I'd no, I'd, 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 I think I'd just wear a hoodie, wouldn't you? Would you go? What would you go in? Like, like okay, you're on stage. Well, I'm not going to get on stage. Best, best podcast in a in a hoodie and jeans. Oh man, it's <laughs> like um, do you remember when Central C turned up to? Oh yeah. What was it? A premiere in a oh, tech. Oh yeah, in his night tech. Oh, it's mad. But people said that like. Like, that's just him. But surely you can wear other clothes. Yeah, you can just wear a <laughs> suit. Yeah, literally. No, I wore stuck. a do-rag. <laughs> but I'm, I, when I see that kind of stuff, I'm like, unless I'm, unless you're like Kanye West, where you're like, you're such an odd bloke, mm. that whatever you do, it's kind of like, fair enough. It's like, you look like you're trying too hard. Mm. And I think I would just play it safe. Like, I would so much rather be the guy that gets tweeted at like, oh, he never serves. Than being like he's trying. Mate, to I used to get fuck fuck people wearing? tweet me every time. I'd be like, "You wear the same fucking suit to every like premiere you go to," and I'm like, "Yeah, I don't want to spend money on a new suit every yeah. time." I, I have yeah. one navy suit. Like, if if I get invited to like a posh thing, I'm gonna wear that in a black. But that's the thing. Tie, people like, be like, yeah, exactly. "Look how much money you spent on his shoes," and they'll be like, "Buy a new suit every time you go to a, like a, mm-hmm. anything you're invited to," and I'm like, "Oh my god, I can't win." Yeah, like it's either I spend too much money or it's like, and this is this is a real. It's a real problem for me, guys. <laughs> and you should feel sorry for me is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you got the self-awareness of that. Because this you again could be us. Awesome. the thing. It's we, ha- can't, we, we buy we're, lots of fancy it's a Harry, suits it's a, we lose. It's a Harry Styles nice moment. Thing that we lose. <laughs> Woe is us. God, oh, no. It's come full circle. Um, yeah. Talking about somebody who everybody can bully. Um, Snapshot Eye. Oh, dear. We fucking love him. He's a content farm for a lot of people at the moment, isn't he? He's like a key to like get anything I need in the recommended. He's I like love him. He's like the UK Darman. He, he is. is oh, that is also relevant right now. Um, all of Darman's actors just quit today. All of... What, like, they're all, they're all... They're all... <laughs> mate, apparently, all currently are making videos being like... Oh, Darman. Like, because me and George Mimulus obviously have been doing the Darman videos for like, a, like a, a year and a half, maybe two years now. And one of the jokes was always like, the sets are so big and massive, like, and they're so like hyper realistic that we would always joke that he'd like trapped them in there and these people were like, like Truman Show were living in there. Um, and then they've all come together, like, all, like eight of them today, and gone, oh, he like doesn't like pay us. <laughs> Oh, like we ba- like we barely get paid. He they've like five x like the production, but like nobody's getting paid any money. Like we can't live. Like he wants us to record like all of these videos, and obviously with Darman, I think it's not like not only do these get ten million views a day. Think about that. Is that how much views he gets? He bangs views, mate. Who I, is watching this? Me. <laughs> I would love to me. I would love to see the people who are sat behind the screens watching so many of these. I don't know if you ever feel that about other creators, but Go on, there name are so them. many to- Yeah, oh, name fuck. everybody you hate. <laughs> First podcast episode, make 10 enemies. Four days ago, 3.7 million. Five days, 3.3. 3. Six yeah, days, 3 million. Mad. Seven days, 3 million. 4.3, 3.9. OG 4. Alex Elmsley would have made a video on that oh, yeah. straight away. The oh, mate, no, I'm, I'm going to... Um, George is in New York right now. Oh, you uh, want to do a video uh, on I'm gonna, Yeah, we got it. it was, it's been the whole, the whole bit in all the videos was like, ha-ha, they're like <laughs> working against their will. 
And then, <laughs> but, but we were like genuinely taking a piss, like because like they're doing these scenarios, like poorly acted, like these videos are rushed, like they look like they should be good productions, but they're written so horrifically. Um, Wait, so he's not paying them at all for their time? I think he is, but it's like. It's like criminally low, like for How what he's you making. Pay for your time on this Criminal, today? criminally low. <laughs> We're in debt <laughs> on this show. By the way, though. So this show costs so much money to make. Um, Spotify paid for it all, and I still managed to lose money on it. So, <laughs> so welcome to YouTube, guys. I'm only really joking. It's an honor to be here. Please subscribe, guys. Please and watch all the ads. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, but only a matter of time until there's a Patreon. I reckon. I promise you won't quit this time. Because uh, I do, uh, you know, we have done technically like 40 episodes of this show. So before people go, new podcast, this is this podcast will be going for a year and a half. Just yeah, this is it, call it like just season, nobody knows about call it. Call it like season two or season three or something. No, this is I'm I'm not hard launching it again. This is oh, this is episode it. one, season one, a new breath of fresh air. Ignore <laughs> the whole year and a half we've done before. It's a different show, to be fair, kind of. It's just exactly the same thing. Well, I mean, people, but I you guys aren't like, I'm not darmanning you, I'm not forcing you to be here. What? Um, I mean, the door was locked. As well, <laughs> I, mean. I, actually, I could lock it. So, so you're going to release our mothers if, if we... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, they're mine. You called yours an elephant at the start. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's stuck. Yeah. She, if you, she's in the back room somewhere. No, she's nice. not fit there. <laughs> Jesus, that's horrible. I'm joking. I don't even see these mothers. <laughs> yeah, what does your mum look like? She's very attractive. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> don't know where that came from. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> I feel like about Snapchat Eye before we went on the dark man. Yeah, we were oh, going to no, talk I about don't... Snapchat no, Eye. No. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I just <laughs> want to say. Remember that? I, <laughs> I was semi playing on the Alex jokes that we were going with or in your MILF Manor video, but oh, the, this the... might come out before that. Oh, yeah, that Alex wanted to show you. You were all over your mother in that yeah, video. Yeah, you were all over. You couldn't stop. I See, for show... people, now, if you want to watch the Cab Kirk <laughs> no, video. No, people have to watch your video. You're going to have to watch it. Because yeah. otherwise, that sounds I so I swear, I'm lucky. I wonder if my... I know my dad watches these. Watches so these? He watches all my videos. Does he? Yeah, he does. Um, my dad thinks mine is too cringe. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, I, I've heard... I've he watches watched... Chris's videos and sends me them. <laughs> and it's like, like... That's right. reasonable. That is, to be fair, that is reasonable. But yeah, I, I reached out to the Darman actor. I want to try and do an interview and actually figure out what's going on because I'm actually quite fascinated in it. Because, like, I was watching uh, Better Call Saul unbelievable show Bang don't know show. you guys here so, i'm only it. halfway through and i was watching it like i was like season three there's a waiter in it and it's the guy who's like in all the tar man videos is it? no yeah. way and i was like this is like really broken like broken Multiverse. Um, like it's broken the immersion for me because <laughs> it's just like him waiting and i was like this is fucking weird like i don't like this at all like maybe but, star man and could you imagine having to go work on better call Saul because star man's not paying you enough money <laughs> Sorry, just got to go on an Emmy-nominated show because I, I can't do it. <laughs> but, you know, people should pay people fairly for their work. I feel like that's not a hot take. Hot but the take, fact that, yeah, exactly. The fact that that joke has become reality is fascinating. Uh, but talking about somebody who I can't believe is real, Snapshot Eye. Um, he slept with a 19-year-old <laughs> in the last couple of weeks. Did he? In it, the last couple wait, of weeks? Wait, with that OnlyFans girl? Yeah, yeah. He actually slept with her? Oh, uh, so me and Lewis did a video on it. Um, that's out now on the main channel. Uh, on the, did he was, and um, was, was the video of them she sleeping filmed, together? No, on... it wasn't a video of it. wasn't We didn't react <laughs> to a sex file. tape. Yeah, <sighs> get the sex tape on. I don't. Want Although, to if, shot eye and raw. if Paul's got it, <laughs> in the same sentence, <laughs> especially a, after that picture, be a cracking video, <laughs> would it? We watch Snapshot Eye sex tape. Oh my god, Paul! By the way, if that you would if you generally would want to come sit down here, people would flock to your Patreon if you did a mate, Paul. We watch what you want. We can make yeah. a sex tape. No, okay, moving. No, I, do you think he would actually come on and chat to you? No, no way. But it, I, I like, don't know. You know, the thing is, uh, to be open and honest, like because I mean, people complain about platforming him. Um, if he came on here, I would grill the absolute like fuck out of him. Like I wouldn't be nice. I, he, I, he knows that, but but the thing about him is, he loves to be seen and loves to be heard so much that given the opportunity to talk back to you and waffle rather than in a TikTok being on the show. I think he'd do it. I think I've seen him do interviews with people before and he's so avoidant of questions like he is in his oh, lives. Yeah. Like he just, he is exactly the same. Like he, he doesn't, he won't, he'll just go, oh, you know, oh, but what? he'll just kind of whatever it, you know? So I don't really think there's a real conversation to be had. It's it would like, just be fascinating to watch him squirm. And the main thing is with this whole 19 year old thing, like people have been like, what has he really done wrong? 
that was kind of one of the things that people would really question. I'd be like, oh, the dancing is enough. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Ruining George Ezra's greatest hit. Yeah, ruining George Ezra's life is enough of a crime, I think. <laughs> I'm interrupting this part of the show to let you know that we said something once again that we couldn't keep in. So I'm just going to remind you that if you subscribe, there'll be a podcast every week. But you could have more interruptions like this. It's worth it, I swear. You, you should click that button. This whole like, thing of Mr. Beast, Beast curing a thousand people's blindness. <laughs> Did you see this? Yeah. And all the controversy around it. I'm so curious what you guys think about this. Uh, I could. I, I think it's so nuanced, but I think the problem is, is like, obviously you've got hardcore Mr. Beast fans who think anything against him and like you know, capitalistic YouTubers are like, he's like a god and they see him as a god and they can see it. Like I've tried to have ordinary conversations about Jimmy and the videos and how strange some of them are and people just instantly like, they're like, he's the, he's the, he's the best. He's Mr. Beast. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. Like, <laughs> I like Jimmy as a person from what I have, the interactions I've had with him years and years and years and years ago. But I find the videos, although they are good, like he did cure a thousand people's blindness, that is great. Don't have a problem with that. The thumbnail, and it's not his fault as well, I guess, but I'm not saying he's a bad person because of this. I'm not even saying he's bad at all, but the thumbnail is fucking weird. It looks weird. It is weird. And anybody, I don't understand why you can't say that. Like, you can't go... A picture of him and it going like that with a guy going, yeah. After his blindness being yeah. oh, cured, yeah, yeah. like, but it's a fake generated image. It's not a real image. Yeah, all the thumbnails they're, they they've got that uncanny valley. Yeah, to them they're anyway. fucking. They're, they're, they make they're, me they're feel like I'm in a Black Mirror episode. Yeah, it's, it's an odd one. Like, and some of his and like a lot of his videos, like he does so much great stuff. And you know, other YouTubers would do videos where they go, oh yeah, man, but like he cured all the blind, and I, and, and I think that's great, but. My main issue is when I like tweet like how great like somebody like Elon Musk is and how much he loves Elon Musk. And I'm like, Elon Musk is like actually a fucking terrible person. Like a horrible man. Mm. Um but apart from that, I think what Jimmy does is great. But I think the idolization of like these other billionaires who like aren't trying to help people, that's weird. And I also think it's weird to like Like who celebrate well Elon Musk. Oh like Elon, yeah. It's a prime example. I mean he's fucking I think I think he's an oddball. Oh, he's, he's an odd character. Have you Did seen you what, what he's done with you? Mate, what he's done with Twitter oh, yeah. is just it's fucking so strange. Odd. Yeah, he's a weirdo. But, you know, with all of them, like, it's like a... It, Jimmy's it's like a... nice. I think mean, well, Jimmy is wholesome at heart. But I want to just <laughs> say one thing. His tweet, <laughs> his fucking tweet was so funny. Because he was like, I totally get it. I totally get why people are, are like, I think it's weird. You know, I've gone out and cured a thousand blind people. I'm going to profit off it, but I'm going to use it to like help more people. But then obviously I do retain money mm. and I've got to pay. So yeah, it is a, it's a weird, it's a weird space. And that's, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying people should be allowed to talk about it more. But, but then he went, sorry. sorry. Then he went, I, 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 yeah, I cured a thousand people's blindness. I totally get it. I don't understand why the government don't cure their blindness because then they could go back to work. And I was like, oh, yeah, we should, we should cure their blindness so we can, so we could get them into a nine to five. That's, that's what I, I he's, he's technically right. He is technically right. But also and like, we have been warped into this weird, like, get back, get back down the mines. Like, <laughs> almost everything that we have to discuss in like the world has to come back to, you know, whether something is economically. He's gone, he's gone. Uh, curing their blindness would be economically viable. <laughs> It's like not just curing their blindness because they're fucking blind. But it's, I, that's, you know, that, we such, can get, we it's get an, an American extra, thing, isn't it? Yeah, like, we can like, get an extra 15 like, years out of in, them. In America, they, like with the healthcare stuff, there are so many of them that are like, I don't want my tax dollars going to someone else's healthcare. They should pay for themselves. So I think his thing like gets everyone on board by going like, if you want, if you put one, if one of your tax dollars goes into curing this blind person, you it's not like, back. hooray, that you're going to get more back and your road is going to be nicer and your streets are going to be safer and all this kind of stuff. So I think he's just playing. I think it was almost like a, it almost like is a, what are you talking about? Oh, that's obvious. I but get he, it. It's he's just so a, appealing to the masses. It's a funny tweet. It's prime it's Mr. Not a, Beast. He's got to appeal to everyone. It's not a bad tweet. And I, de and I get what he meant because he, he was tweeting it from the perspective of the government because the government don't care about you. So yes, it actually doesn't make any sense because okay, he's so going cool. like, oh, I don't understand from the perspective of the government that ideally want to make as much money as they possibly can. That's the whole reason it exists. Why they wouldn't want to cure them so they could send them to work. He wasn't saying, I, Mr. Beast, have cured these people <laughs> so I can so I can get them in the next squid game. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine. 
Oh my oh god. Dear. But even that, like, I mean, the thing about Jimmy's videos is they are dystopian. They're so big, the money sums are crazy. It's not what we've ever seen on YouTube before. And there's like the charity side of things, and he does give back massively. Yeah, but a lot of people are all. Class. Yeah, a lot of people are always going to be like, "Oh, but he only gives back to charity because it makes people say that he gives back to charity." And in the grand scheme of things, it's you know, he can't win. Um, that's the case with everyone online, though. I swear, like, there's literally you, that, that. That's like a that's like a, a very obvious case because he gains subs and money and stuff back from it. But like. You know, you can delve into like every single tier of any kind of good work. Like you, you give money straight to a charity. Like the CEOs have mansions in America of mm. all the like top charities. Like mm. the guy who's curing the blindness, the surgeon gets paid very well. Like, you know, top surgeons. Well, I mean, I, I don't know exactly for him. In but, America, like, a lot of even better. Probably makes, you know, very good money and he's going to go buy a probably shiny new car now. He's done a thousand have of surgeries. you seen those videos like, where it's like the guy's like, what do you do for a job, man? And he's like in a Lamborghini <laughs> and he goes like, dentist. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's yeah. America. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's like. It's just fucking mental over there. Yeah. Um, yeah it, it's just, I, I, I could see why people got annoyed, but also like, man, there are so many people who wouldn't do what Jimmy did. And that is a thousand people now who aren't blind. Mm. So there is, it's a, it is a positive but I think it's good that it brings on a bigger conversation of like, why? My my problem is why should Mr. Beast be the one who has to go cure a thousand blind people? That shouldn't mm. be happening. I'm curious, actually. I wanted to Google this, but I didn't. Do you know if those blind people would have got the treatment for free in the NHS in the UK? Yes. They would have done. And Australia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, See, that's the wild 50% thing. of all blindness is curable. Uh, you just, you go in next week, you could have it done, you'd leave. Because like, you, you know, <sighs> you know, with us, like, I, um, there are so many things that like, if we get a, some sort of like terminal illness and stuff, like we just don't get the best treatment just because the NHS can't afford it. Like mm. there are certain cancer treatments out there that like, you know, everyone says like there, there are these hidden cry, like cancer cures. Then, well, I mean, I don't believe so. You but know, they got higher success rate. Those, but, but they, yeah, th there are cancer treatments that you can get privately that are like hundreds of thousands that like, you know, the NHS technically could say you can have this, but they literally just, you know, can't afford it with their budget. And it's, it is crazy to think like, Damn, I've you know I could one day come down with this cancer and just because <laughs> I don't have a million quid. <laughs> what more? Than I'm not going to get cured of this. <laughs> like the whole healthcare stuff, like it it's understandable that it's so weird to look at the Mr. Beast thing, even if you think it's like overall good, and just be like, this whole system is just weird as hell. Hypothetically, you die, Arthur. <laughs> How do you want everybody to? What do you want everybody to do with like your YouTube channel and all that? Uh. I mean, what's anyone? What could, what could you do with it? Well, would you? Would I? If I made a video, I'd be like, "Oh God, he's dead." Oh, I'd like that. Yeah. Monetize it. Monetize it. Oh, please, yeah. If I, if help yourself. I'm not. You know, I. Would you want us to put the money? Half a TV philanthropy here, guys. <laughs> put, put like do an AI thumbnail of me, like. <laughs> <laughs> and me going. Yeah. Just no, of you going. <laughs> in the thumbnail, yeah. Looking up, like no. so distraught. I want, I, I want, I want you to put me through an AI system that figures out my face and voice and personality, and let my family speak to that person until they die. Fucking hell! Just so that they. Did you see this? This actually happened. No. This company did it for this. I think it was a woman in China. They got her daughter, the the looks of her, the like sound of her voice I've and seen stuff, this. and they made a VR thing of her daughter who died, and she was in this VR thing like bawling her eyes out, meeting her daughter. What the it was. Fuck. I wouldn't want that. But we're so close. Like, Would anyone want that? No. Wait, we could 100% with the number of videos and podcasts and all this kind of stuff that we've appeared on, run it through AI and make an AI that looks like you, sounds like you, could AI generate the script. And, and if you died, your parents could have constant conversations with you oh, in a way I that's like quite that. similar they to They don't you. talk to me anyway, Arthur, so. Do they not? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think they would. They go, fucking waste of time. <laughs> yeah. don't, need, don't need that. My parents have eight kids, so they forget about me too. Yeah, but I, you mentioned that the other day. Hit. Well, technically nine, but yeah. Well, what does that mean? Well, there's what eight of us now. Oh. Okay, well, why technically nine then? Well, <laughs> they, 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 they gave birth to nine. But there's only eight of us now. I mean... That, Do the maths. <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you... Wait, what? <laughs> How long do we have to dwell on this? <laughs> this is... Yeah, my... Um, yeah. Let's just move... Wait... <laughs> Let's move on. Thank you. <laughs> My next topic is women and feet, Arthur. 
That's okay. Fine. Oh. Dis- fine. Disrespect my family by. No, oh, I don't know where to go now. <laughs> well, the, what am I meant? To, how am I, how am I meant to, What's wrong with you? Oh Are man! You're not even gonna say like my condolences or no? I'm sorry. That's awful. <laughs> no, I I'm, I'm so confused. I'm messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not about the fact that it happened. <laughs> no, it happened. I'm just saying it's. I don't. I'm not. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this myself. Um, just start balling. I, I, I just didn't know whether to say it eight or nine. Oh, Fuck, everything's, oh. going, everything's going wrong. This, this episode one has gone very smoothly. Let's get these violin out. Uh, uh, anyway, women and feet. Not playing <laughs> where are we going not playing with that? a sad song. Um, uh. my, my TikTok feed page is just, for some reason, has recently just been loads of women's feet. Oh, I thought this... Yeah, I got... Okay, go on. Is that it? Just women it's and feet? It's kind of it, yeah. You know, it's I based one on your in interests. ten people have... Is, that's true. Mm. One in ten people have a foot fetish. Are you... Sure. So... Ooh. I haven't. I, I don't get it. I think feet are kind of grim. There's Do only you get three it? of us here, so what are the odds? Um, Zero point three. Right, Carl Vorderman. Nice. Is that... Would that be yeah, it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, but do you have a foot fetish, basically? Because it's based on your... It's a four... No, it's it's a four I think page. I've been joking about it so much that my phone has been hearing me and that now it's started to recommend me videos based on on that. When so, have you been talking about feet? <laughs> as, a, as a joke? Or as a joke? I'll mention it as a joke. Do you believe that? I'll mention uh, it as a joke. No, I think it's real. No, I genuinely think it's real. Like... What, his I, foot fetish or uh, both? Yeah. What I, do you I, mean? What's real? That foot you fetish. say something and then TikTok. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, it's it like all feet. these women on lives, and what they found, like they can get like three k views, is they like lay on the bed and they put their like feet, they dangle their feet, like you know, mm. behind them. Are you getting quite a few of them? Like four or five, like of I, scroll. I sometimes five see. We'll just see a random TikTok where someone shows their feet, and all the top comments are like for free, <laughs> like, and it's like you know, <laughs> so how much would you this? charge uh, for pictures of my feet? I just I have quite nice feet to be fair, so I'd probably ch- drive a hard bargain. But uh, why have you got quite bargain? nice feet? Are they just like sheer? I don't know. Like I just you know I don't have very hairy feet. I've got yeah. tan skin. I feel like white like white feet with black hair, <laughs> very long yellow toenails. Like they you know a lot of that kind of stuff can make feet look kind of grim. But what makes like like I trim my toenails? My my nails are all clean. No, you see, like you keep you keep up. Yeah, I like so it. So I, yeah. f- I feel like you know it's I mean it's bare minimum. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Has he got black hair, or hairy feet, on white? I've got, ha- got hair on my feet. I'm not getting my fucking feet out on the podcast, Arthur. Can we do a Patreon episode where you wet your feet out? Honestly, <laughs> if we do Patreon, if we announce Patreon, I'll make that a tier. Like, if, we, if somebody be, pays, we do a whole episode. Like, if, like, <laughs> we've just if, got if, the if dogs somebody, out. If somebody like pays like a grand for like an episode, but I think it would be quite funny. I'd do do it. you get messages like, "Oh, how much for feet?" Oh yeah. all the time. I'm on no. Feet Finder. What's no, I'm not on Feet oh, Finder. No, I'm on Wiki f- Feet. Wiki Feet. Yeah, Wiki not feet. Feet. I'm not on Feet Finder. <laughs> I'm on Wiki he's Feet. He's got a gold he's account. He's got an account. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm on Wiki. No, so I actually, I don't know if, if George Mimulus gets this, but my wildest DMs came pre-face reveal. So like, obviously before I hit 100,000 subscribers, I didn't show my face. Um, it was actually just because I couldn't afford a camera at the time. Um, <laughs> but uh, I used to get the way wilder DMs back then before people knew what I looked like. Like I would get girls who were like, like I would consider like fairly attractive that would literally like, I got a DM once from this quite attractive girl that was literally like, I don't care what you look like. Um, you can wear a mask if you want, but I'll come around to your house. You can wear a mask. You don't have to say anything. I'll fuck you. And then I'll leave. What the fuck? And she, I could have been, I could have looked like dream. Like I could have looked like, is that good I or bad? Like <laughs> anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> Was that was that what you used to say as as the as the level for low is I could have looked like Dream was like that could have been the worst case scenario for her. I think a lot of people would rock up and if it actually no Dream's not he's he's an odd, it's an odd looking he's an odd looking guy <laughs> isn't he? Wouldn't you say? Uh, just, dream uh, there goes any uh, any dream of having him on this podcast. <laughs> but on the, on that message though, like, what was your response? Or did you know? Yes. I didn't. I didn't reply. It was, uh, it was. I left it in the in the in the message request. Yeah, I was did. single at the time, so I could have taken it. Up, yeah, you could have. It was t- too weird. Yeah, that is weird. Like, I feel like as guys, like we don't worry about you know if a girl DMs oh, you and yeah, you go, yeah. "I'm going to meet up with him," we don't necessarily worry in the same way about. Oh I my do. god, they're going to kill me. But no, when I, I, get I worry. Like that, I worry that they'd have weird. like negative intentions, so for sure. I, I know quite mm. quite a lot of the like big YouTube like people go when they get a girl round. 
will say, I, I want you to leave your phone at the front door just so, you know, you're not taking really? a selfie of us whilst we're having sex or like, you're not slip, like, you know. Really? Like, yeah. That's crazy. I just don't. No one, no one like particularly close. Like it's none of my best mates. Or so. I don't know. For me, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd be like, this is like fucking odd. It's like, so, this is weird. It's like, yeah, so, it's a bit weird. Like my normal people aren't doing that. And I try no, and live course. my life as normal as I possibly but, can. But how do you know that, like, you know, if, if, if you have a girl around and she stays the night, that in the middle of the night she's not doing... Like, I vet them selfie. as best as I possibly can. Like, I, I'll speak to somebody... Take to I'll speak to somebody... Like, free, <laughs> I'll speak to somebody... Like, free, <laughs> for, I'll speak to somebody for, like, off. three, four months <laughs> before before they even get in near my flat. Well, that's what I mean about... So that's what I'm saying. Like, if you were the type of person who wanted the thrill of a one-night stand constantly, where you wanted a different girl around every night, or guy, or were they them... Um, nice, you know, nice, well done. I've got some legacy people back on side <laughs> for Alpha, but... or any of the other. Anyway, um, yeah, you, you want to be. You, it, it would be a creepy that that the idea that someone could like. Yes, know, that was my. But that's film. why I don't do. So that is that is that the main reason why you don't do? Well, because I wouldn't be able to go put your phone at the door. Mm. Um, and also, yeah, I like my main thing is if I was going to sleep with somebody and I was worrying that the risk was that oh they might potentially have fucking genuinely awful like intentions for me I wouldn't want to sleep with them anyway so that would automatically I wouldn't it, we wouldn't even get to that point mm. because I wouldn't be able to go well as long as we fuck I don't I, you know it happens I don't really care I get that other YouTubers can do that and other people can do it but for me I'm just like no like I I'm like if I don't, I, if I go, if I don't, if I'm already thinking I can't trust you on like day one, I'm like, well then, yeah, we're never getting back into my fucking house. I can just imagine you with like a clipboard, and, like loads of questions from the end of the door, like ticking off what the, what the answers are to each question. Well, I just, uh, my main thing is like, you know, I, I I'll purposely keep that relationship side like super yeah, he's quiet. He's got like a fail score. No, <laughs> it's like, sorry, you can't come any further. Fucked it. You yeah. aced every, but the family history one, you know. <laughs> but I do, I do, I make like a mental. Your creepy uncle. <laughs> Sorry. No, I would have no... I mean, they're not... I'm never meeting their family. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. Your surname is Breach. Can I just... Can I have like, Come, a family tree? Come in. On that. <laughs> Come in, my friend. Um, yeah, I mean, I think when it comes to something like that for me, I just wouldn't be able to do it. And But I do, like, mentally... I'm not dying a fucking clipboard. But, like, you know, I'm like... If somebody does something slightly odd like i've met people before i've gone on dates with them and then it's been fine for like a month talking to them you know and then i've met them they'll be like oh so like my friend was saying that like uh you guys make like this amount of money and i mean it's like okay you've kind of fucked this up for mm. yourself i mean i had it the other day i was in the bar and i'm sat there yes, like, it was my friend's pub. friend's birthday party and i go to the bar and a girl goes oh would you like a drink? And I went, oh, sure. And then she went, oh, I'm not buying. You're the rich one. Oh, that is that. Yeah. And I went, oh, uh, yeah, I'm never speaking to you again. Like, because I, I wouldn't even go, ha ha. I'd be like, yeah, you fucked it. Mm. Like, you fucked it. Well, you just say that straight to their face. No, I didn't go, you fucked it. I, just <laughs> I turned around and walked away. I didn't say goodbye. I was like, that's weird. That's fucking weird. If you treat me weird. like I'm not a person... I'm gonna just go. I'm gone. Bye. Like I'm not speaking to you. Mm. Like I don't. I don't owe them anything. You can't come up to me and go. It's the gesture as well. It's not even the like. A, oh, you can pay because you can afford it. It's like a. You're the rich one. You know. So you should be paying. And yeah. It's like, and it's also it like. I, it's, it's, like not, I was on a date with this person by the way. This is a complete stranger. Tap me on the shoulder. Would you like a drink? Sure. I'm literally at the bar. I'm ordering a drink. Was it so. a girl you were interested? <laughs> where you were like, oh, she's an attractive girl. Like it's a uh, no, because as soon as she said that, well, I, I, no, but before that, like when she said, "Can I buy you a drink?" She tapped me on the shoulder. I, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Like, you did look at her. Can <laughs> I buy you a drink? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> can't look at you. Can you answer no, but this there, questionnaire for me? There was like I need to bet you like, before I can there, was like, a drink there, there was like a hundred people in this fucking bar. <laughs> After these five, and then I can look at you. No, I, do I don't go into the room and pre scan. You haven't answered my introductory questions. She turned around like. Like, she turned around like literally was and like i mean it's i wouldn't even be able to retroactively say anything because that put me off so much yeah, that is yeah i that was like is so instantly like oh what the fuck like yeah i'm not interested in that but i've had a few people do that like if as soon as somebody mentions if you mention money within the first 
like five minutes, 10 minutes, hour, 24 hours in any scenario about anything, then it's just, yeah, you've automatically fucked it. It'd be, it would have been really interesting if she had stuck out, if you had been like, oh yeah, like, I, you know, I used to make a lot of money, but I literally just burnt it all and I fell off. So I don't make much now. Do you still want to get that drink? But you buy it. Just see if they stay. Or if they go, she oh, would actually, walk no. away. She'd be like, oh, Because if she goes like, oh yeah, no, don't worry. I was only kind of messing. Like I actually do want to get a drink with you. Yeah. Like, you're attractive. Then you can be like, oh. Well, that's the f- yeah. It's but- kind of like, kind of like, you, you know, there was a guy in 1980 who was like mega, mega rich, like multimillionaire. And he told his fiance that he was really, really poor. He, he would never show his house. And when she came across to America for the first time, he brought her to the house he grew up in, which was like really run down, knackered old house, just to see if she'd be like, I'm so happy to be in America with you and stuff. Or whether she was like, oh, fuck, oh this yeah. is actually like, you know, I kind of wanted to live in a mansion in the American dream and stuff. Um, and did she stay with him? She did end up staying with him. Oh, she did have a bit of a problem with how bad it was, but it was so bad. It was like uncomfortable living yeah. conditions. Mm. Like she came from like, like Trinidad and Tobago and yeah. it was like, you know, the sunny, like beautiful country. And then was like, God, there's like cockroaches in like Texas. There's like mold yeah. on the roof. <laughs> oh, for, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's just weird when Talk, somebody does about, it. Uh, birthday parties. I feel like we should talk about your food that you got for your, oh, for your birthday meal. Oh, uh, if you're like, <sighs> mate, I, people say it all the time. But like, as somebody who, you know, I lived in America for a bit. Like, so Did I, you? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I lived in Ohio for a bit. So I know, I know what like actual food. I didn't know that either. <laughs> Why Ohio? Wait, is that a meme? No, I lived in Ohio, Ohio? for like, oh. for like eight months, eight, nine months. Why Ohio? Uh, I, I was staying with somebody at the time. When I lived oh, Jake Paul. Was it? Yeah, I was staying with Jake and Logan. Is he from Ohio? Yeah. All the weirdest people I've ever covered on my channel. <laughs> the guy who, Thanks. as a 56 year old, adopted a 20 year old girl with his wife and then tries to sleep with her. <laughs> Was from Ohio. <laughs> Weirdest thing ever. Weirdest classic, thing I've ever classic seen. Classic story, by the way, <laughs> on the Alpha TV channel. <laughs> adults adopting adults after TV saga. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, food in Weatherspoons. Uh, yeah, we ordered a fucking, like, we ended up going out like eight and in like Canary Wharf. There's like nothing serves food past like 8 p.m. So I was like, oh, we're going to have to go to fucking Spoons. But like, it's in Canary Wharf. So you're like, oh, Canary Wharf Spoons might be pretty decent. But Spoons in general, the food's actually not that bad. It's not meant to be as bad as it was. We ordered a burger and chips. And it turned up. It was the fucking, like, it was like worse than something you'd be served at, like, Mackey's. It was. It was worse. It was like... Mackey's is all right. For... for for like paying, like how much you pay, like 10, 15 quid. It was a Rustler's burger. It, I couldn't believe what they give you. Out. I would have Wait, preferred what? a Rustler's burger. Why was it so bad? Because you, like dry, no, small. Usually a burger, like. I was just saying if I can find the picture. You, usually a burger, like you have a. Well, couple, describe it for people. Yeah, you, you, have, else you have like a good burger, right? Like from for the price of it, you're like, okay, I'm gonna get a stacked burger, like yeah. some cheese, pickles, like a big burger. We weren't even like, sure if it was gonna come with chips. Yeah, anything. It, I'm I'm pretty sure it was just two buns, not no sauce, and just the burger in what? the middle, wasn't it? With a pickle on top. There, that was it. A, two, t- a bun with just no, nothing on but the burger. Was there, was there a bit where you were supposed to click add lettuce, add tomato, no, add bacon? I got the same thing and there was nothing. You just clicked, yeah, I want a burger and they just give you it, a bun and, a, and the meat? Yeah. That is weird. Mate, it's the worst thing ever. Like genuinely. Was like I so swear Spoons used to have unreal burgers when I got that. I was like, eh? I get post Brexit, man. They actually do do de- a couple of decent meals. Yeah, English breakfast mint. is good. Apparently fucking Their not. Curry nights are well, good. Well, I saw somebody order good. breakfast at half eight. We were joking about the yeah. all day breakfast and there's somebody walked past and that actually looked good. It looked unreal. So maybe I've learned that now if you want to eat spoons, order a fucking full English at yeah. 9 Because I, I rocked up to that, obviously. You did, you were like, last person. Two, like two hours later. Um, and I got the chicken nuggets and yeah, the chips where they were. They were really the chicken nice. Chicken nuggets oh, no, are the safe, southern fried chicken strips. Yeah, they're quite safe. And they were very, you know, very nice and yeah, moist. Yeah, yours looked very, unreal. Very nice and moist. That's how I like my chicken tenders moist hello everyone uh i was gonna make this seem like a normal interruption in the show but uh frankly we said something that we couldn't keep in so i'm just gonna remind you that this is available on spotify and apple podcasts so if you guys want to go and follow us the link will be in the description below thank you uh do you see logan paul tweeted out the most fucking mentally deranged tweet ever the other day i haven't been keeping up with him he's gone he, you've seen he's tweeting out like the matrix is real guys yeah, because he's because he's, he's trying to get those people back on side um, that the people will hate him and like you know it's disappointing because I thought Logan Paul was actually a relatively I thought he was doing quite well actually yeah I thought he really turned a new leaf I thought he really turned a new leaf and then thing. you know he's kind of just uh, and fucked then the it. stuff with George 
He posted this. I figured out the universe. He posted. Oh, mate, that was. Uh, yeah, what? I saw that. He posted. I figured out the universe. All right. Read some of it because it is. So just... he's, he's drawn the infinity logo. Infinity is a concept. Doesn't exist in the natural universe. What the fuck are you doing? Um, sphere slash circle equals God shape. Celestial bodies. What the fuck does that mean? Um, universe is likely finite. Um, contained spherical. Time infinite? Question mark. Eventually, all stars will die. Equals no more light. Um, if universe is contained, uh, can we assume apple in a box theory? He's fucking lost his mind. I think. Do you only get like too rich and like <laughs> your problems are just not problems. Yeah. Like the fact that you're worrying about this is like what? What are you doing? And he, he says he's like he's solved the meaning of the universe or whatever. And it ends in a bunch of questions like, so is there a God? Why are we here? And it's like, those are the questions we're still worrying about. He says something about like, you know, the big band's exploding and it's slowing down and eventually gravity's going to pull it back in together. And like, if you type in the big bang on Wikipedia, that's like the third leading theory that it's cyclical, that it explodes and contracts in an infinite cycle. Like he's going like, oh, I figured all this out. It's like, this is like, it's like surface level physics and philosophy nothing it matters like sketched down it's so pretentious if anyone's going to solve that it's not logan paul no yeah, it's not genuinely yeah. uh get back to shilling prime nothing matters except the time we have now and each other hey, like philosophers were talking about that like literally two and a half thousand years ago logan longer. paul has learned empathy for human beings it's only taken him a couple years since that incident unreal i nice. just i find it weird with people that get to like a certain level like you see it with kanye as well like because Kanye is such a good music producer. But and he's, he's actually artist. ill. He's, yeah, yes. he's actually got bipolar disorder, hasn't he? Is it? Yeah. Uh, it, True. It's kind of sad. True, but it's also... That's what, what made him smart. That's, that's not what made in him any way like, justifying anything he said or anything yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. That's a, in but its own right, it's sad. Like anti-Semitism disorder. and that, that's nothing to do with that kind of thing. But uh, this is fucking serious. But it's like when people get to a certain level, it's like they fucking, their mind, they just lose their mind. I think with Kanye, to become a Kanye West, to become a Logan Paul, uh, you have to have a screw loose. I've always said this. Like, if you want to be, like, the most famous person at a thing or whatever, like, you've got to have drive that, like, most people will go... Oh man, like trying to become a YouTuber would ruin the relationships with most of my friends because I wouldn't have the time to do it. I'd rather just work in the pub. Mm. And then they wouldn't do it. And not only he's, and those guys have taken that to like a level beyond. Like it's not even like, you know, with, with what we're doing, you know. And a lot of people go, I don't need uh, everybody to know who I am because mm. that would be quite a miserable way to live my life. Whereas, like, you know, with people like Kanye, Logan Paul, they're driven by stuff that, normal people who are considerably better people by the way um aren't driven by which is why they don't end up like that and also they're driven by things that you can't attain which in the end will drive you crazy mm -hmm. being the biggest thing ever is not attainable it's not real you can't do that also mm. in your audience. being the best artist ever mm. there's no measurement to that apart from what streams and numbers now and in, like in your head if you're logan paul though if you're like I've got this like drinks company. It's like the fastest growing drinks company. I'm in the WWE. Um, it, like, I revived my career yeah. and not just that. I'm bigger than I ever was. Exactly. But like all, everything you try, it works. So in your head, he's probably like, well, of course I can solve how the universe is like. Yeah, exactly. But you also like, if you're Logan Paul, you'll forget about all the things that don't work. Mm. Like there'll be so many things that he's done that I haven't taken off, but we'll never hear about those, and he'll forget about them. Oh, crypto um, zoo, you know, you know, and oh, that's yeah, the thing. Crypto zoo. Yeah, crypto zoo is a prime example. Like, and but yeah, it gets to that point where like, and he'll be surrounded by. Also, you got to remember like something like Logan Kanye West. Um, there'll be loads of people like you're not very well, Kanye. We need to help you, and he'll go hater, horrible hater. Uh, we've been friends for twenty five years, but I fucking hate you because mm. there'll be like. 25 melts on the other side of it going yes buy my lunch mm, yeah. please let's go to the studio and like you know and they'll be enabling him and it'd be the same with logan paul i mean you see it in our friendship groups on such a minor level there are some people who like completely enable people's fucking weird and strange behavior and like the problems that they've got and then mm. there are people who try and step in and do stuff and then people are like oh bit of a killjoy because he doesn't want to go out drinking every day 
Like that, I mean, and even that, it's just like, and, and like, imagine that with Kanye West. Imagine being as popular and famous as him. I think you're right with like, if you think, because I, I was just thinking like, oh, I'm, I'm curious about all like the best in the world and stuff. Like, you think about even football, like Ronaldo is unhinged. Like, yeah, he's obviously insane. one of the greatest ever, like in, say, in such an admirable way. But like the commitment he has to being the, the best and the obsession, like you can't fake that or like, you know, work hard to get there. It's not like, somebody you want to hang around. And and I, Messi does it on a lot much quieter level, but there are loads of people who are like, he's very much on the autism spectrum. He's just as competitive as Ronaldo. I think we saw a little bit over the World Cup. Mm. It's how, different like, different things driving them, I think. The, the people at the right at the very top, even like, you know, the billionaires, like Elon Musk, like, you know. You, I think Messi's, I think Messi's got an like, obsession. You got, you're a different type of human. Messi's got an obsession with his admiration for football on a technical level whereas ronaldo has an obsession for everybody thinking he's the best messi is like people think i'm the best by by as a secondary level to me just really loving what i do like he's just like i'm gonna play football all the time it just so happens that football is the biggest sport in the world and you also get paid hundreds of millions of pounds to play it if you're as good as him whereas ronaldo i think he's like i want to be a footballer because it's the biggest sport in the world and I can get paid 100 million. Whereas Messi, it's a byproduct of something he enjoys doing. Whereas Ronaldo, it's the whole... If football was something... Like, he wouldn't have got to be Ronaldo if he'd been playing for fucking Colchester for five mm. years. He would have given up. He would have yeah. wanted to do something else. I think it's interesting with Ronaldo as well because he's like another one like where you see these big people that try and branch off. Like, Ronaldo, obviously, an amazing footballer, but... His underpants company doesn't really. What does it do? His fragrance company, fragrance, like just yeah. because they're so good at one thing, they think they can do like everything. But God Nacho wears his underwear. To be fair, who does? God Nacho, and that is why he's so good. Probably, <laughs> <laughs> I might wear the shortage. So <laughs> yeah, man, it might help. Ten percent extra jumping <laughs> power. I'm actually wearing. Oh, no, 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 yeah, I think it is easy to start believing. The thing is, though, is everybody. You need self belief for sure, but then. There are some things where you'll kind of just realize at a certain point, like, oh, I actually, like, I just can't do this. I mean, there's stuff that I've picked up where I've been doing it, and I'm like, actually, I'm actually not that great at that, so I'm just not going to fucking do it. Like, podcasting. You know, podcasting? Yeah. Uh, no, I keep on going with that one. <laughs> um, I'm surprised you haven't given up playing up front at Shoreditch. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, oh. I, oh. I'm all right. You're the Giroud of Shoreditch. That's how I picture you. Well, you I, when you score, you just score random outrageous I play, I play off Because uh, I'm, I'm a confidence player. Yeah. If I play with somebody who is like, and I can tell that people are getting annoyed, then I find it so much harder to play there. Mate, we well, need to... Whereas yeah. I like knowing that I can go for a bicycle kick and if I miss, I'm not going to have somebody go, oh, fucking dare you. Mm. There was one time at football, uh, I think it was like a couple of weeks ago, where I think, I think it was me, you and Rory on the same team and Rory was peppering you with insults and i was like shit i think arthur's gonna cry in a second <laughs> yeah and he, i he kept I, trying to get me to play center back with him and he kept going Look, you're leaving a hole i was like mate i'm a winger like, stop pulling me back <laughs> my the thing for me it's like the thing for me is like somebody will go oh yeah yeah they'll put they'll go go up front and then nobody will track so i'll track back but i'm tracking from striker mm. and then i'll get back and then somebody will play the ball cross and it looks like that person is now the man i'm marking because i've had to yeah exactly and yeah. then somebody will go why aren't you marking That's exactly and i'm like and i'm like, I'm like, I'm like mate, i ran all the way this is not even this is not meant to be my guy yeah and i'm like and then they're like how like and then it'll be like you've got to do more running and i'm like oh man and then <laughs> i'll have i'll be stood in like in defense and then they'll go you're going to be up there and i'm like oh man i can't do i can't do both yeah. The I thrilling ins and out of Shoreditch. <laughs> they We love football, For all mate. the fans who are curious. We need it like a, you know how Sean Dice just did that like 4-4-2, a tactical masterclass. Yeah. <laughs> we need that for like a Shoreditch thing. That'd we need to do like a breakdown of the podcast of like, we need to bring footage, like the GoPro footage Chris has and break it down. Do you mm. know what would actually bang as like a podcast clip if you're done for the next one? is like if we got all of the footballers from Shoreditch and ranked them. Like, like, who's the best YouTube footballer? Nice, yeah, we yeah. should do that, actually. We'll come back next week. You, I mean, what would be kind of funny is if also if we could get some of the GoPro footage and uh, mm. highlight people's performances. <laughs> you did actually, on the E-Boys podcast, show the clip of me bunny hopping Lewis. I can't remember if you were there for this. Lewis Buckham went in for a slide tackle on me. 
Like this was in his era where he was like out to break legs. <laughs> yeah, and wasn't particularly. Man, I had a huge argument. I had a huge going. argument over him with that. It, it was genuinely like you were like he's, he he goes in two footed every single time, and you're like he's going to snap someone's legs, and he does that. And I roll the like drag the ball back, and so he slides directly in front of me. And I grab the ball between my legs and bunny hop over him and then keep like dribbling through. That was the oh, same and, game and where it, he, the e-boys he brought it up and me. clipped it. That was the same oh, yeah, game that was why it came me. up because you that made him angry. And then you and him yes. fell out. That was yeah, why the clip because, got brought up. Because Arthur Bunny, that made Arthur, him angry. Arthur Bunny hopped him and it really pissed him off. <laughs> so um, <laughs> somebody passes the ball to me. I put my foot on it. As I look up, Lewis Bucken is just like there. And the next thing I know is I've literally just like, I have done like a full, like 180 degree. I've flipped, done, I've done like a full flip. flip. I like literally completed a somersault in the air and I land on the floor and I just was like, why? <laughs> like, why, Bo? Like, just why? And I was like, it wasn't even me. It was him who pissed you off, like by being better at you at football. The thing is, fucking your shit at football. <laughs> but like, he, he's but, still fuming but, about but, it after all I'm trying years. to injure you. I... Because there are some people, nah, there are some, there are some people awful. at Shoreditch. Been, we don't wear shin pads. I've been, compla- either, I've been complaining is... a lot recently at people who like, I'm like, why are you trying to hurt your mates? Or like, or do you not understand how football's played where a tackle like that could hurt your mate? Yeah. You've got to be very careful. Like the risk reward. Like I nearly hurt our that. mate Dan last week, completely by accident. Look, I went in for a tackle and he was running towards me and I put my foot down to stop and. I literally just kept skidding like a fucking cartoon character. But I was skidding. But as I was trying to stop myself, I had like I had my foot, oh, and no. I just missed him. And he was like, "You could have like fucking broken my leg." I went, "Mate, I genuinely like I could not stop myself. Like I was trying <laughs> down the node." Well, yeah, because from his perspective, it looked like I was trying to fucking. Your shorts are gonna flop from now on, mate. <laughs> yeah, my YouTube shorts could be fucked. <laughs> He's turning that dial. <laughs> uh, he, um, it looked like I was trying to. Uh, from his perspective, I even I knew as I was, I was like, oh, he's gonna think I'm trying to hurt him because I was like doing that, and I was like, I can't fucking stop um, because you know it's the 4G pitch, and it's like it is. It must be going because last time I saw George Clarkey as well, he was like, mate, I had. Oh yeah, so he he played sh- at Shoreditch and then came along to like a Chris MD like shoot and was like, honestly, I, I'll play, but like, look at my legs, rolled up, rolled down his socks and his ankles were just like torn to bits. Really? And he was like, Shoreditch at the moment is like insane. Like I'm getting hacked. Constantly. Depend when, yeah, depending on like, so maybe we need to have a word. Yeah, I haven't de- played since Depending on who turns up depends on kind of like the Theo. intensity mm. of uh, the way it's played. But the one person who nobody will touch is Chris because yeah. they're like, you would be taking out like the biggest football channel in the UK yeah. and nobody wants that responsibility. And even like, if you try to people, swipe it like, as ankles, Somebody, like, will, you somebody will turn to me and go, yeah, number one, also you can't tackle. You can't. You try I'm not going to pretend like you can. He's but, done three zigzags. But somebody would be like, oh, why did you let him uh, like, uh, why did you let him onto his left? And I'll go, because I don't want to fucking kill Chris MD. <laughs> yeah. really. Can you imagine? Because I'm was... not good enough to stop him. If I tried to tackle him, I'd break his leg. Because I'd miss, be I'd miss the ball. He'd, he'd move the ball, and what would be left would be his leg. If you and I'd just be him like, and did crack. his ACL, and he he'd be, yeah, he'd be, months, he'd be, I'd, oh, he'd you. sue me, I I've reckon. Never seen he'd him. sue me for money. How, I've known him for about 12 years and I've never seen him angry. Imagine if like used to were like, like if there was another Chris MD that was like equivalent of like his size and you know, of channel and everything. Um, and he's like competing. Imagine like that at Shoreditch if like- Taking him out. Yeah, taking him out. That would be a fucking dynamic that. Like trying to, they were trying to take each other who out. Would that, who would even be yeah. like, I mean, Chris is- he's, There's, he's there's the, no one that, No one else does. He's the original level, article. No um, one else does football videos. And no one's on that level either. Like his new editor like does stuff that- it would be Harry if Harry started again, but that was yeah, good. I guess so. Yeah, I mean Harry's one of those people where I love Kieran Carlin. I love when yeah, yeah Carlin. I love when Harry plays because Simon, it's to be fair, Mini Minter does the occasional true. Video on so, that yeah, second channel. but you can't get near him either. No, but um, there are there's the amount of times where Simon plays where I've kicked him in the, sh- in the legs <laughs> and I'm like I'm so sorry and I'm like but you're so long. He's a long <laughs> man. <laughs> no, but it's not uh, not in it, but like because what he'll do <laughs> is it like he'll dribble the ball around. And I'll go to kick where it was, and I'll just get his shin because, like, he's literally like fucking six foot three. Yeah. So it's just a fucking nightmare. Anyway, uh, that's Shoreditch football talk, guys. <laughs> uh, anybody want to mention anything about Harry Rote Shaw so we can get it as a clip? That'd be good. He's so sexy. Oh, <sighs> those thighs. 
Oh. <laughs> my favorite. Anything... I didn't realize how good Harry was at like hitting a ball. I know. Yeah. When when it falls to him, like very far out, you're like, it's just gonna sky. You it. see the fear he in Keeper's them. eyes. Yeah. But he's but... been doing it for decades, hasn't he? No, so. he's twenty five, I think. So two and a half. Decades. Straight out the room, yeah. just you know, just, just someone to give him a ball. He was like, "Well, get out. thank you guys so much for watching uh, episode one of the podcast. Please um, check out Alpha, check out Cam. I greatly appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. There'll be more episodes out every single week, um, which would be pretty cool. It's also available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Um, I'm, it should be anyway. Uh, they'll be linked in the description below, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Um, I also reckon I'll be uploading the clips to a separate channel uh, from now on, so that'll be linked in the description below if you want to watch the clips as well. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Peace. Adios, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>